everyone. Welcome to a consolidation practice of movements working the pulley, light at the top of the head, light at the temple, joyous breath, passing clouds, and six healing sounds, all from the Tai Chi Cha Joy Through Movement moving meditation series. For working the pulley, I'm going to turn to the side a little bit, but before we do that, let's all sort of anchor ourselves in the resting pose to start. Take a breath. Feel your feet on the floor and underneath your palms, fingers are lightly spread apart and just take a breath. Great. And then I'm going to turn to the side. So shifting your weight to your, I'm going to mirror you. So you shift to your um, right, step forward with your left foot. And this is working the pulley, just so that you can see the side. The top hand comes straight out from the shoulder. Feeling that curve in the front. Palm is about at waist height, or your forearm is about at your waist height. Don't let it drop below. Don't let the hand go down. Keep it up. This is number five. Make sure your hand comes past your neck. This is number six. And now we'll just let your right hand weight, your left hand, left foot come around, and everything sinks. And take a breath. Great. Before we do the other side, um, just as a reminder, with one hand I'll show you that as the hand comes, it's as if it's holding a drop of water and we don't want it to drop off until the elbow comes behind the body and the body opens and then that drop of water just rolls really naturally as the hand comes around that bigger pulley in back and then over the top the hand comes by the neck, okay? So not too awkwardly, but it doesn't come out here. It comes up and around and right by the side of the neck, um, which activates the carotid artery. And it's a very um, healing uh, position for the hand to be in in support of our arterial health. So here we go on the other side. You don't have to believe or know any of that, but let's just call it what it is. So now we're going to do um, working the pulley on your right. All right, so I'll stand in the resting pose. This is your right foot coming out. So shift to your left, sink a little bit, step forward with your right heel, and then here we go, working the pulley on your right. And as a reminder, we keep our head mostly straight ahead as we're moving. Remember that the back heel pivots in towards the midline. The front toes pivot away from the midline, which helps encourage that waist twist, which is very important in this movement, the opening of the waist. Right here, nice and open. We'll call this one five. I'm not really counting too strictly on this. You don't have to either. You just do roughly the same amount on both sides. We'll call this one six. And close on the next one. So your left hand weights. Right hand and right foot come up and around. And then everything sinks. And take a breath. Great. Okay. Light at the top of the head. Light at the temple. Soften your knees. Come up the sides. Up to the top of the head. Soften your knees. Place your concentration in the bottoms of your feet as you come up one, two, three, 
heels down, mixing forward with the wrists to an internal count of five. And then holding for that same count. And then softening the knees, one up on the toes, two up on the toes, heels back down, and then up and around. Heels touch and stay down as you scoop up, left hand closest to your face. I'm not mirroring you on that. And then push through, light at the temple, palms to the temples, release one up on the toes, two, three, heels down, mixing forward. And then holding, focus in the bottom of the feet and breathe. Soften the knees, release one, two, up and around, your left hand closest to your face as you scoop up, turn the palms over, separate, and concentrate your attention in the bottoms of the feet and take a breath. Great. And then stand and breathe. Okay, so feet are shoulder width apart on this one, and this is called joyous breath. So we're just going to start, it. just you can do a soft exhale. Remember, we're going to inhale vigorously, filling the lungs with air as there's sort of a pressure pushing down on the hands. So coming up on the toes at the end, and then in four equal parts. We also push down vigorously at the base, the air is out of the lungs, release your wrists completely, and then do another repetition. Lower your shoulders. Don't be afraid to really breathe in strongly and out strongly. One more. Heels come down on the third one. Heels down. Release your wrists. Step in with your left foot. I'm mirroring you. And then soft exhale. And again, focus your attention in the bottoms of the feet and breathe. And then stand and breathe. Don't ever skip or um, dismiss the importance of the graceful conclusion and really feeling everything come down to center, everything kind of coming back together. That would be the yin chi and the yang chi that we've been circulating. All of that comes back into unity as our awareness stays in the bottoms of the feet, the whole body sinks. Take another breath here. Fantastic. Yay. Okay. The next one is passing clouds. And as a gentle reminder, this is the only movement that starts to your right. I will be mirroring you. And we don't do it on both sides. We just do it to the right. And then we close. So here we go. So sink. Step side right with that Tai Chi step, meaning the heel touches first, and then the rest of the foot becomes flat. Bottom hand passes the top hand's elbow, top hand comes on the outside as we glide across. The bottom hand is like it's trailing water, and it doesn't cross the top hand. It doesn't start like this. It's behind it a little bit. This is number two. Feel your feet and breathe. Feet and 
breathe. <laughs> Do one more. Okay, one more after this. <laughs> so the left hand waits as the right hand and right foot come up. And then everything sinks together. And here we are in the graceful conclusion. Let's really feel into that. Feel your bottoms of your feet. Connect. Downward. Always. There is great healing power in learning how to anchor or place your concentration in the soles of the feet at all times, not just in Tai Chi Chi practice. So um, you may be surprised at what spills over into your daily life from learning this practice. And now, six healing sounds. Okay. So I'm going to remind you of the sounds and the actions and gradually um, reduce the external cueing and you'll, you'll be able to do the final set all on your own and even if you can't, you just muddle along and you'll get it eventually. So take a breath. Okay, so we're going to step forward with your left foot and your left hand. Remember the back heel stays down on this movement, right? With H-O is the first sound. Both hands. Side left. Forward right, sh, sh, both hands, she, sh, side right, chui, chui. Trees. Pick up, put down, touching with the heel. Tree. Pick up, put down. Tree. 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 Bring your left foot over. And just a little rolly, poly at the end there. <laughs> Justin used to do that at the end of the practice, so we'll just try that and take a breath. And then the final pose of Cosmic Consciousness, which we do after any amount of movements that we do, um, that you choose to do in your own home practice. Um, I will not be mirroring you on this one. So your left heel on your right ankle, your left hand closest to your face, and then lean a little to your left to balance the weight. Elbows are parallel to the ground, um, sort of right under the nose. Hands are not touching, but they're stacked. And your thumbs are kind of like at a 45 degree angle. Gaze softly about six feet down in front of you. So downward pointing gaze and breathe. Relax your jaw. Relax the inner corners of your eyes. Relax your pinkies. Relax your dantian. The area two inches below the navel, inside the body, from which all emerges and returns to. Feel the bottoms of your feet. And then bring your heel and your hands back into the resting pose. Graceful conclusion. Take a breath.
Excellent. Nice work.